everybody it's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video welcome to my channel say hey to my grandma rest in peace to my grandmother welcome to my channel if you are new my name is B Octavia I'm 23 years old and I'm from Washington DC before we start shout out to the fresh face skincare by me I do have my own skincare and cosmetic business and the name of my business is crush on you beauty i do have clay masks and lip oils and lip care products as of right now so make sure that you go over and check it out now in today's video i wanted to talk about kanye west and the type of person I am, I like to let things play out before I speak on it. So I wanted him to get out everything that he had to say. And then I wanted to come on and talk about it. Um, and shout out to the people that requested me talk about Kanye West. So the first thing that comes to mind when speaking on kanye west is of course his mental issues and i don't want to sound insensitive by saying mental issues i know that his wife kim kardashian said that he was diagnosed bipolar i really don't pay attention to everything that he says so i'm not sure if he came out and said that himself prior to her saying it but I don't know and I also want to speak on mental illness in the black community I want to speak on mental illness being a topic of discussion on social media and basically how people deal with it or or how it plays out on social media how mental illness plays out now if y'all live under a rock, y'all didn't see all of the things that Kanye West had to say. And it was a lot. Now, I am going to read some of it, but first I wanted to speak on people laughing about what he said and, you know, laughing emojis all over the place, right? Anytime somebody is screaming for help, anytime somebody is is desperate for attention and is saying all of these random things in one it's not funny a lot of things that he said caught me off guard but i didn't laugh that wasn't my first reaction i'm like okay so what's next you know because if he doesn't have people around him and good people you know and especially people that can help him um, and not just enable his behavior, then something bad is going to happen. All of these celebrities coming, yeah, that's all right. You know, that's cool. But what is that really going to do? Because in my opinion, anytime I've been down and really down, you know, depressed, and you don't have to say that you're depressed to be depressed, you know, anytime that you're feeling like that, and anytime I felt like that, I've heard a lot of generic answers from people. Oh, it's going to be okay. Oh, you know, time will pass and this feeling will pass or, you know, just really generic answers. So with all of these celebrities that's coming to the ranch and everything like this, that's cool. You know, you do need friends. You know, they say, what about your friends? You do need friends, however. It's really nothing that y'all can do at this point. Like, he really needs help. And from the right person. Maybe Iyanla, you know what I'm saying? Maybe she can come. And, and because honestly, I feel like she might remind him of his mother. You know, I feel like he needs a person that's a strong black female. And, or, I mean, it can be in general like a strong black person, but I'm saying, you know, a strong black female can tell you in the most soft-spoken, I mean, not soft-spoken, fuck that shit, the most blunt and honest and loving way of what you need to do. And how you can get your mind right. And a lot of times, we got healing powers, ladies. Us black women, we got healing powers, okay? 
we definitely do we got healing powers to the highest degree because sometimes we don't even have to say nothing like honestly i seen Ianla give this black man a hug like i seen her like hug him you know what i'm saying like a real embrace and it made him cry sometimes us black women we don't even have to say much you know us being there for you is enough and honestly this reveal that kim kardashian isn't enough you know what i'm saying her looks and everything that she adds or whatever she thinks she adds to the world or to him it's not much because you you're scared to to tell him the truth you pussyfooting around his mental illness and you want to come out and talk about the mental illness that's what you want to do you want to come out and talk about the mental illness but you're not helping him you're not there for him to rant and rave to you about what he's talking about on twitter you're not there for that and you don't have a response like my thing is a person can rant to you and vent to you about what their issue is about your marriage or whatever but if you if you're there and you're not receiving it it's like you're not there I've had a uh, many conversations and this is this is very personal but I've had a uh, many conversations with my mother you know about different things that I would like to change about myself and I would like just overall positive things that I just want to see happen and what I'm working towards and most of the time it's like talking to a wall you know and and I don't try to blame I don't try to push blame on her so much because that's just the way that she is you know and I honestly that's the way that Kim Kardashian is you know some people are so modified that they're not able and willing to receive the information that you want them to because they so caught up what their modification is okay they're so caught up in what they do day to day to not even care or look to you and check out what you are doing <clears throat> Kanye West said things about um, he doesn't want his children to do Playboy and things like that and all that told me was he doesn't want his kids to be exploited he doesn't want his children even like no matter how old they get he doesn't want them to be exploited he doesn't want a magnifying glass to be on them I can see Kim Kardashian being the same way that her mom is and you know I give her some respect she's a damn good manager I can't manage that many people I don't care if they my kids you know what I'm saying that's a lot to have to do however a lot of it you know is inappropriate I feel like once Kylie Jenner turned 16 the outfits just was not age appropriate and they just got worse over the years and as a parent you can control those type of things but Chris is so focused on social media and so focused on you know the likes and bringing that attention in for her children because that's her business that looking you're not wanting people to respect them you're not giving people much for them to respect you know you are the regulator but I can see Kim Kardashian being the same way he talked about a private meeting that Meek Mill and Kim Kardashian had that he was not aware of or something like that and I mean Kim Kardashian don't tell you everything and especially if you're not asking she's not going to tell like they they are that type of family and even if you ask they have an avenue or a shortcut to get around it so that you don't ask that question anymore he talked about wanting a divorce a while ago and you know i knew that kanye west i knew that she's she's draining you 
he talked about the sunken place movie being about him we knew that kanye west we already knew that and i'm not even laughing like i'm not even joking like we, i already knew that and i need to see that movie like 10 more times because that movie just did something to me you know what i'm saying it really did but i knew that kanye west and i've never laughed like even the taylor swift situation not this situation the snatching the mic situation even that like it was funny because i was younger then like it was so rude that i really thought that this shit had to be planned like this shit had to be planned but it wasn't and it was another moment that we seen one of the first mo well the first was the uh, George Bush thing. That shit was funny. But it wasn't because after he said that, he really wasn't making sense. So, next was the Taylor Swift thing. And looking back on it, that's not funny. You know, I feel like he took advantage of her being white and him thinking that he is able to do things like that like snatch the mic you know what i'm saying i felt like it was rude and no matter what the race of the woman is that's a woman you know what i'm saying you ain't hey listen you ain't finna snatch no mic from me bruh you know what i'm saying i got that mic on lock this is my acceptance speech you feel what i'm saying and even if he snatched it i would have snatched it back or demanded a new mic so that i can finish period that's it you know but you know i just feel like us as women we do have to just stand together within that you know that shit wasn't cool especially that's before taylor swift had me fucked up i like taylor swift when she was on that country shit you know what i'm saying i like when she was doing the teardrops on the guitar or is that it or it was something that she did a couple songs that i liked back in the day um until she started tripping but um nonetheless you know that shit was rude and that was another moment that we seen him crack you know the tmz thing that was when he completely lost me you know he completely lost me then you know and then he come out and talk about harriet Tubman. listen you know first you say slavery was a choice and then you say that harriet tubman was with that shit was with the white man listen i don't i don't know i'm not even gonna talk about the presidency thing because it's not real you know what i'm saying and even if he think he gonna win he not you know i'm not feeding into that because i'm not on the politics and he's not either like stop trying to like and this is my thing how you gonna have a campaign situation and just talk about yourself and just talk about what your family went through this is not about you this is supposed to be about you telling what you gonna do for the world what you gonna do for america not what what you what you got wrong you know what i'm saying all of what he said it was literally for a therapist to listen to a very great therapist and it has nothing to do with money you know people be thinking oh i could pay for this this fucking i could pay for this therapist because they cost that bag because they cost a rack or two or three an hour and they're gonna be good no go to one that's in the hood go back to no because he went to chicago and that didn't change him you know, you need to get away from all these people. All of the Kardashian and all of these people in, in this society. So, I'm going to just leave it at that. I don't want to keep rambling and raving about about him. I, I hope that he gets help. And to separate this, I will have a separate video on the black community and how we handle mental illness. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. It's your girl, B. Octavia, and I will see y'all later.